winning the Theater World Award mean to you? What has it done for you? Um, it has given me confidence. It has been such a warm welcome into the community. It is the award that it was my first award, and it means the very, the most to me. Um, all the, these recognitions are very sweet, and they're very, um, you know, very kind and generous of everybody to be voting and, and recognizing, you know, so many of us in this way. But the Theater World Award is particularly meaningful to me. Now, who are you presenting to tonight? To Colin Kelly Sordele for his work in Last Ship. Now, what made you do that one? Why Colin? Well, they asked me who I would like to present to, and I, um, I saw his work, and I was very impressed by him. And also, I have a, uh, I have a spin on how I'd like to deliver his speech today, so you'll see that later. Back with the incredible Alex Sharp, who has not only won every award known to man, but it's also being recognized by the Theater World Award, which is the most prestigious award you can win. It's amazing to be here, you know, your first time on Broadway, I'm sure, for everyone is very overwhelming. And this award for all these first-timers is, just makes you feel so welcomed. It's really a lovely, a lovely evening. Did you know about this award? Yeah, I'd heard of it, yeah, yeah. Do you know that it follows your career and sends you birthday cards and, like, stays with you? I did not know that. Oh, yeah. This, really? Yeah, that's what's so great about us. You've just become a part of a very small, very close-knit community that supports you. That's amazing. You know, I'd heard about it because Enid Graham and Helen Carey, both amazing actresses in, in Curious Incident, um, are previous winners and, and talked about it being their favorite event, their favorite awards, and... Uh, um, I'm about to find out why, you know, but it's, it's already just being in here is a wonderful Let's take on Broadway right now, and ladies, be jealous because he's here with his adorable wife, Robert Fairchild from American Apparel. Tyler Peck from the New York City Ballet, and my wife for almost a year now, our, our anniversary will be on June 22nd. So did you celebrate in Paris with American in Paris? Um, well, that's actually where he proposed to me in Paris, so it's kind of always been a special place for us. But I was there for the opening. I flew for 24 hours. Now, what are you doing right now? Um, I'm in the New York City Ballet, and we're right now doing Midsummer Night's Dream. We have one week left of this season, and then we start touring. Now, Robert, this is the most prestigious award as far as I'm concerned because it really notices you at the beginning of your career and then follows you around. What does it feel to win this one as compared to the other awards that you're, like, taking away? Oh, that's sweet. I, this was always a dream of mine, being on Broadway. And for people to like what I've been doing means so much. And it gives me so much confidence that I... I when I go out on stage to own what I'm doing and be proud of what I'm doing more and more every night uh, it's you know you put yourself out there in a completely different medium I've been in the ballet world for 10 years and I haven't been speaking so to get on stage and speak every night and sing I'm putting myself out there and the fact that people are showing their gratitude and their and their appreciation really means a lot and I'm, I'm so grateful I think it's so smart that you got married in the throes of like about to be at stardom. <laughs> well, you've given yourself a grounding. We we are. She's my everything, and if we didn't have each other, this none of this would be as special. Colin Kelly Sordele and I won for Tom Dawson and Young Gideon in the Last Ship. Now you have an amazing voice, and this was really seriously your debut. It was. It's my first show. Yeah, on on Broadway at least. <laughs> yeah. What, show, what shows had you done before that? Oh, well, nothing professional. It was all like in high schools doing like hairspray and you're in town and such, which were phenomenal and so wonderful to be a part of as well. But nothing quite compares to uh, working with Sting in the company of The Last Ship. Now, is he following your journey on this? Uh, I hope so. I think a little bit. I, uh, uh, I got to speak with him recently at a, at a performance that he did. And he, he's very proud. And, and likewise, I'm very proud of him and all of his successes. And I'm, I'm wishing him a lot of luck in the Tonys coming up. Now... If you could do any role or any show next, what would it be? Ooh, next? That's a that's a kind of a tough question for me. I mean, a role that I've always wanted to play. I'm a little too young as Hamlet, but I'm I'm a little too young for that. I'd, I'd uh, I suppose. Um, I'm not too sure. I would really like to um, focus in maybe doing a play next. I'm not. One of the most beautiful dancers on Broadway today is Leanne Co from the American in Paris, and she is now a Theater World Award winner. Okay, so is this another win the dress for the carpet? Uh, no, actually I've been lent this dress by a lady called Randy Ram. She's an investor in our show, and she makes the most stunning dresses. 
and she's lent me this for the evening, so I'm very grateful to her. <laughs> Thank you. I was wondering what kind of dress were you going to rent for this one? Yeah, um, I've had a very fun time shopping for all these lovely events. I've never been to so many events in my life, so um, yeah, I'm very happy that I get to go shopping a lot. <laughs> now, had you heard of the Theatre World Awards before winning it? I have to be very honest and say no, um, and I'm going to blame that on the fact that I'm British and that uh, we don't have anything like this in London. Well, I can't actually, I can't, maybe we do, I don't know, but I'm from the ballet world, I'm not from the musical theatre world, so maybe there is something, but um, I. I'm so honoured to be in a room with these amazing actors and actresses and I've been lucky enough to see a couple of them perform and I'd love to see them all perform and I just feel, you know, it's great to honour the, the next generation, you know, it's wonderful, the Broadway veterans, we all love them, everyone, everyone loves them but it's great to honour the newbies, the, the young ones, the babies. Can, ben, can you tell us? What you won your theatre world for, award for, and who are you presenting to tonight? Yeah, I won my theatre theatre world award for the Norman Conquest back in 2009. I came over here with the old Vic Theatre from London with Kevin Spacey, and we took the show to the Circle in the Square. And six of us, all six of us, won a special award here that year. And it was a real honour for me to come and, and receive the award. Uh, it meant a great deal to me and to the other actors. I know. Um, because of the history of these awards, you know, they go back a long way and they've, and they've revered some really, really fine actors. And to be in that company is, is personally a real, real honor for me. So it's great to be asked back and pass some of that feeling on to my recipient, who happens to be another Brit, Ruth Wilson, the fabulous Ruth Wilson for her, her role as Marianne in Constellations earlier this year. It's a thrill for me to, um, you know, speak briefly on her behalf and, and welcome her into the family. Now, have you gotten your annual birthday card? I have. I get it every year. I love it. You've been really great to me here. You keep asking me back each year, and I, unfortunately, I'm, I was unable to make it these last six years, but this year I'm back, and I hope to be back again soon. Well, that's the great thing about this award, is that it's a community, and once you become a part of it, you're accepted. It's a lifelong award. You know, it's, it's not just over the next year. You just It's yours. You get to keep it, and you're in that club for life. It's... It's, it means a lot to me, it really does. Now, are you 